Hello friends, welcome to our channel Tara Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss about the data error or the cyclic redundancy check error in disk drives which includes both the internal disk drive and the external disk drive such as external hard disk, SSD, pen drive, also the optical drives such as CD and DVD. So if you come across with the error like this on the screen which you say the data error or the cyclic redundancy check error then you can fix it using this trick or the solution. I have already made a video where I have explained what is data error, what is cyclic redundancy check error, why it happens, what are the occasions when the CRC error occurs and what are the possible six solutions if your disk is visible under the Windows Explorer. You can watch that video. I will give the link in the description. But what if, if your disk is not visible under the Windows Explorer? Then what should you do? In this video, I will give you live demo that when I will connect this disk with this computer, it will not be visible in the uh, window explorer then that uh, solution which I had explained in the previous video you aren't able to fix it using that method so I'm going to explain a new method where you can fix the issue when the disk is not visible and when you get the message like your disk is not able to initialize so you can see the message this is the error message on the screen and uh, I will also explain you later what is CRC error in uh, very quickly and before that these are the two situations when the CRC error occurs. First situation you can see the drive is not accessible. So here the six solution which I had explained in the previous video that will certainly work. Okay, so you can watch that video just press the i button on the right side and you can watch this video else you can just click on the link in the video description and you can watch it the second option the hard disk or the disk drive can't initialize so here you can see it gives the virtual disk manager data error each time when you try to initialize the drive like what happening in my disk drive. So before starting giving you the live demo, I will quickly explain you what is a CRC error. So basically the cyclic redundancy check is a error detecting technology or method by which a data verification takes place to check the accuracy of data on the hard disk drives or CD or DVD. This method is commonly used in digital network as well as in various storage devices. So, whenever there is a mismatch in the accuracy of the raw data, the CRC error occurs. But when this error occurs, that means there is a bad spot on the media of your disk and you should be very serious about it. Now, the next question is why this error, error occurs. So this error is triggered by some of the region like registry corruption as you can see here. This is the one, one uh, region. Second is a cluttered hard disk. Third one is an unsuccessful program installation. And the fourth region may be the misconfigured configured file. Apart from that, there are some other regions like the corrupted file system on the storage device, interrupted file transferring process and 
the misconfiguration in the files and storage devices. So these are the some po possible uh, things by which the CRC error occurs. Some of the things are inevitable. Some of the things are unavoidable. So you can avoid something like if the data transfer process is going on, you should not directly remove the disk from the computer. There should be method like the mechanism that you should first eject the drive safely. So some of the things which you can uh, do it by your own. Okay, so that was the brief description about the CRC error. Now I'm coming to the point that if your disk is not able to initialize, then what to do? This video is going to be a little long. So have patience and watch the video till end so that you should be able to understand the each and every uh, things very clearly. This is the tutorials. If you are new to our channel, I request you to please subscribe our channel. And if you like this video, please like and share this video. So let's start the video. Welcome to Tara Tutorials. Our motto is learn everything with perfection. Thank you for watching Tara Tutorials. Well, before connecting the uh, external hard disk to the computer, I will show you that in my computer there are three internal disk drive partition. So when I should connect this drive, ideally it should uh, give the another partition name called F. But when I try, um, I will connect it, there is a uh, no other disk partition visible. But here you can see that the uh, disk. LED is blinking that means hardware side it is okay I have already checked with the cable this cable is okay so there is a no hardware problem with the disk there there are some uh, data related issues in this disk there may be some bad sectors due to that my disk is not working so now if your disk is not visible here then what should you do so on the my computer just right click Click on the manage button. Now you can see a, a window, computer management window. So here at the left end, just click on the disk management, double click on it. Now you see that my two TV hard disk is showing here and here it is showing the space unallocated. Now there is a dialog box here that gives me the message initialize disk. You must initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it. Now disk one is selected. Now there are two radio buttons you can see. Use the following partition style for the selected disk. I either I can choose the MBR that is the master boot record or the GPT that is GUID partition table. So for Windows 10, GPT is the default option. So I will click on the OK button. It will take some time. And as you can see on the screen, the message, the error message is displayed. The popular error message that is a data error cyclic redundancy check. So I click on the OK. Now again I try to initialize with the other method that is MBR. Let's see what happens. Click on the OK button. Again the same error message as, as you can see on the screen. Okay. So sometimes when you do this you, uh, you may fix the issue as also. But in my case I am not lucky enough. So it is not happening or it is not working. Now. What are the possible solutions for me? I will check the properties that what is the condition of my external hard disk. So here it is showing that the driver is good. There is no problem. The device is working properly. Policies wise there is no issues. Volume all OK. Driver all OK. Here the events here also you can see that there is no error message. OK. So everything is okay from here. Now when I click on the right side here in this area, when I right click on it, 
so now all the three options the new simple volume new spanned volume and new stripped volume these are not highlighted properties already i have checked it there is no issue so now i don't have any option to allocate a space for this disk so what should i do now now i have to take the help of disk part utility for that i have to open the command prompt in administrator mode and i have to run few commands so now i will open the command prompt and i will show you how it works i will close this in the windows search box click cmd here right click on it select run as administrator okay here you see the screen like this now here what you have to do is you have to write a command disk part now once you write this command and press enter you can see the command prompt has been changed to disk part now here i have to type a command list disk so as you can see that here it is showing the two disk disk 0 and disk 1 disk 0 is the internal disk and disk 1 that is the capacity of 2 tb is the external disk so you can identify the disk depending upon the size of the disk that you already know it okay now the next thing is you have to select the disk since i want to work on the external hard disk so i will select the disk 1 if there is issue with the internal hard disk then you have to select the disk 0 so now here you see the disk 1 is selected disk you have to clean this disk so type the command clean and press enter so here you see that it is giving you a message that disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk now the next job is that you have to create the primary partition type following command create partition primary and enter now since there is a some serious issue with my disk so here you can see that the message the disk part has encountered an error that is the data error cyclic redundancy check see the system event log for more information so i am not lucky enough to get the problem resolved but in your case it may work and you will get the following messages that i am going to show you here so once if you once you supply the command that is a create partition primary then you will see this kind of messages if there is a not a serious problem in your disk that disk part succeeded in creating the specific specified partition after that you need to write a command active and then you will get a message that disk part marked the current partition as active after that you have to write a command that is a format fs equal to ntfs okay in place of fat32 fat32 is the older version older file system now the all the file system are ntfs so you need to write format fs equal to ntfs and hit enter it will format the disk it will take some time and after that you need to type a command exit so once you perform all the operation it will be displayed in the window explorer list just double click on the disk and start using it so this is a this is how you can fix the data error or the cyclic redundancy check error 
problem in your disk drive and you can make it serviceable but if all this option doesn't work then you have to go for the manual repair for that first you need to recover your data for that either you can approach the local vendor for the services or you can approach to the vendor from where you have purchased the external hard disk so you can ask for the replacement but they won't recover your data so for that you have to pay separately to the vendor to whom you have from from where you have uh, purchased the disk or you can take the third party service also you can also use use some tools that is available online on the payment basis so you can also recover the data by your own after that you have to change the disk so that is the only poss possible solution from this point of view so i hope you have enjoyed watching this video once again i request you to please subscribe our channel and if you like this video please like and share this video thanks for watching please like subscribe and share we'll get back with an interesting video soon thanks for watching again